guys, it is Mr. Phil Videos, and today we are taking a look at pipes, and this is a pipe tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm still a little sick, um, yeah, <laughs> but let's get this started anyway. We have, um, seven main types of pipes. We have a wood pipe, cobblestone, stone, iron, gold, obsidian, and diamond. These are made by the material surrounded by glass, or er, with with one glass. So I'll show you here with stone. It would look something like this in a crafting table. And um, yeah, that's how you make them with the materials that you think it would go with. So what is wood? Cobble, cobble, stone, stone, iron, iron, gold, gold, obsidian, obsidian, diamond, diamond. So uh, now that I have said how to make them. Uh, each time you make these, they give you eight of the pipe. So one one uh, glass and two of the material make eight. Um, wood pipes are used for extracting items out of chests and storage devices. Cobblestone and stone are used as filler for uh, long pipes if you need them. Iron is used to block out uh, items from entering a certain way, and I'll show that in the demonstration. Gold is used to speed up items going along a pipe, and they can only be used if they're powered, like so. This will do nothing. Obsidian pipe allows you to throw something into the pipe, and it will get sucked up. So, like you see there, the item gets sucked up and move along the pipe. And diamond is used as a... Um, a filter as a um, sorting pipe helps a lot of storage systems. The way you get items out of uh, chests and such is like this. You have these things called redstone engines. Uh, they're fairly simple to make. And then um, you, ha you have to power them by redstone and they will only pump when they are connected to a pipe like this. Uh, as you see this pipe or this Redstone engine is not moving, uh, it's because it's not connected to a pipe. If I gave it a pipe, and uh, there was one around that. Oh, yeah, I don't know why it's not pumping. Whatever. Uh, you always start by placing the wood or the wooden pipe first, and then the redstone engine. And um, wood pipes are the only pipes that will connect to redstone engines. Here I have just have a quick example. Do you see it gets sucked out when I place it on the ground because I have nowhere else for it to go right now. Here we have a demonstration of the cobble and stone pipes. And as you see, uh, they will not interact with each other. This is great for if you have two pipes uh, running side by side. Normally if you just used stone, it would connect like this and all the items would go everywhere. But if you had a stone and a cobblestone going one way, it really helps a lot. Uh, here we have a demonstration of the gold pipe. If we place an item, it will take quite a while to get down there to the gold pipe. But um, yeah, that's what, this is why gold pipes are pretty necessary in systems, uh, pipe systems. So as you see, it'll hit a boost get boosted forwards. Gold pipes won't do anything right now, but um, in previous tech it builds, it would um, actually act as a break, like stopping the item and returning it to how so it is normally. Here we have a demonstration of the iron pipes. Uh, if I place in this pipe uh, as a demonstration, it will be able to enter from the side, but it won't be able to leave. I think if I place, let's see what happens when I place something down. So we have uh, rain. Anyway, as you see, the uh, cork will. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's getting repelled right there. Uh, and these can be destroyed, I believe. Or these can be moved around by wrenches. I don't know why recently it hasn't been working. Any of the wrenches, wool wrenches, uh, none of these work. Anyway, finally, 
finally we have the diamond pipe which I accidentally destroyed last time I tried to record this um, if you attach pipes from either side it will um, give you different colors and if we it's color coded on the inside so if we put different things for each one so you got like obsidian pipes um, chests um, cobblestone right there uh, we place those in there um, actually let's just do that so as you see the obsidian will go to the red over here the chest will go over there and uh, these pipes will go over here into the yellow because it is color coded. Uh, there is, if if it is coming directly into the diamond pipe, there is about let's see how many more would that be? Maybe one, two, three, four, five options for diamond pipes. <coughs> All right, the final demonstration I'm gonna do here is the item transport pipe. If you Set a frequency, so let's set a frequency of 2, and we have another one that is in the same frequency. They will interact with each other, so if you place an item in a chest and allow it to be sucked out, when it enters the item transport pipe, it will be sucked in... Oh, also, you need to set these to can receive equals true. Now when we place in the chest, when it gets in there, it's going to be sweating. You'll see it enters the other side and goes into whatever you have. Um, these will go into furnaces, and I guess I can show that real quick. These will go into almost any item, uh, or any thing that can be interacted with. So we have this furnace here, for example. So if we set up a quick demonstration. Um, we did something like this. And we put an item in here, say this raw beef. This raw beef, I'm not actually certain where it's gonna go because it all depends on what side the pipe is on. So, um, in this case, it went into the ending slot. So, if we took this and went around and then went in, God, my mouse is being really dirt. Like that. Let's fix this. Then, if we put an item in here, I don't know why I chose that item one, it's a little weird comes in here it'll go into the top slot and it would work the same with the bottom slot so if you wanted coal to enter here automatically you could get it pumped from a chest or something and go in under here and it would go in the bottom slot but yeah that's really all I have for this tutorial it's not like I'm not going into a lot of detail with the pipes I'm not doing waterproof there's also waterproof pipes but I'm doing the basic build craft pipes there is a lot to <coughs> these pipes that I'm not getting into, but uh, yeah, I'm going to end this off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If it did and if it was helpful for you to, er, to you in any way, please like, favorite, and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. This has been Mr. Pro Videos. See you later. Take a trip to my house, my house, my house. Take a trip to my house.